hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to create a website header using html and css in this website you can see this navigation bar at the top where we have added the navigation links and one contact button in the left side you can see one sidebar if i take cursor over it the background will be changing you can see this background is changing with smooth transition and in this left sidebar you can see the logo and one text at the bottom after that you can see these text and uh, icon in the background i have added the background color and the background image so you will learn to create this website header using html css step by step so keep watching this video till the end here in this folder you can see one html file one css file and one folder called images and in this folder you can see these images you can find these images download link in the video description now we will open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code you can use any code editor so this is the html file where you can see the basic html structure and this one is the css file in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect the html and css file and here we have the title for the web page next we will add the code within the body tag so here we will add one div with the class name header next we will add the css for this header so write this class name here and here we will add the width height and background in this background we will add one color code let's add some padding in the left side and right side in the left side i am adding 11% and in right side 8% because in the left side we have to create one sidebar also after adding this come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser so you can see this dark color on the complete web page let me close this browser and i will open the web page with the visual studio code extension called live server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file so you can see the same web page again now let's come back and within this header we will create one navigation bar so let's add one div with the class name top nav that is for the top navigation bar in this one we will add links so write ul then li and in this li we will add the a tag and here we will add the link text duplicate it and change the text and after this ul we will add one button and the button text is contact us now you can see these links here and this button next we have to design these links and buttons so just come back and here in this css file we will add that class name top nav and in this one we will add display flex so that the button and links will be side by side align items will be center and justify content will be space between so the link will be in the left side and button in the right side let's add the padding of 30 pixel from top left right 0 and bottom 15 pixel and we will add the border at the bottom 1 pixel solid and this color code after adding this you can see this link in the left side and the button in the right side and there is one bottom line next we will design these links so again come back and here we will add this top nav in this one we have the ul and li so for these list let's add list style none then display will be inline block and margin from the right side to add a space between the links it will be 30 pixel then we will add the margin from the top it will be 10 pixel and margin at the bottom 10 pixel in this li we have added the a tag so write a and for this a we will add text decoration none then we will change the color color will be white and font size will be 15 pixel after adding this again come back to the website you can see this navigation links looks good next we will design the button which is in the right side 
so let's come back and here we will add this top nav then write button for the button tag and here we will add the background then we will add the color color will be white and border 0 outline 0 and border radius it will be 30 pixel then we will add the padding that will be a space inside the button then cursor will be pointer after adding this this button looks good after creating this we will create one sidebar so let's come back and in this html file after closing of this top nav here we will add one another div with the class name side nav in this side nav there will be one logo so write img images slash file name which is images slash logo dot png and here we will add the class name logo after that we will add one link in a tag and in this link we will add the link text latest projects after adding this you can see this logo and link here now just come back and copy this class name side nav and we will add the css for this side nav so here we have to add the position fixed let me add one background here that we will change and uh, after that left it will be 0 and top 0 then width will be 100 pixel and height will be 100 vh and here we are adding fixed so in this one in this header we will add position relative after adding this you can see this sidebar in left side and the logo and link so we have to align the logo and link so just come back and uh, here we will add display display will be flex justify content will be space between and align items center then flex direction it will be column let's add some padding it will be 50 pixel from top and bottom and left right 0 so you can see the logo on top and this link at the bottom next we have to add the linear gradient background and that background will be changing when we will take cursor so let's come back and here we will add background linear gradient and here we will add color code then second color code then third and one more so the first and last color is same and now we can remove this background or we can comment like this and after that we will add background size background size will be 100 percent and 500 percent then we will add the background position background position will be 0 and 40 percent then you can see this background in linear gradient color next we have to change this background when we will take cursor so let's come back here we will add this side nav and hover so when we will take cursor here we will add the animation let's add the animation back color 20 seconds linear infinite reverse and uh, here we will add the keyframes keyframes for this back color let's add 0% and at 0% we will add this background position so the background position will be 0 and 0 and duplicate this one it will be at 100% and at the 100% we will add 400% like this after adding this let's come back to the website and take cursor over this sidebar 
now you can see this background color is moving and it looks very nice next we have to add the css for the logo and the link text which is at the bottom so let's come back here we will add dot side nav and dot logo for this logo we will add the width it will be 60 pixel and cursor will be pointer after that again write this side nav then a for the link which is in the bottom of the left sidebar here we will add the text decoration text decoration will be none then color will be white and now we have to rotate this so write transform rotate minus 90 degree and after that we have to shift the position so write translate x translate x y 50 percent and we will add the width width will be max content after adding this you can see this link looks good which is in the left side and it is rotated by minus 90 degree after that we have to add one image in the background of this website so to add the background image let's come back here in header only and in this header we will add the background image right background image url and in this url we will add the file path of the image so let's come back to the folder and in this folder you can see we have the file name photo.png so let's come back in this url we will add the file path images slash photo.png after that let's come back you can see this image is very big so we have to change the size so let's come back and here we will add background size it will be 38 percent now you can see this image multiple times so let's come back here we will add background repeat it will be no repeat so you can see only one image now we have to change the position of this background image so let's come back and here we will add the background position background position will be 92 percent from the left and 100 percent from the y you can see this image at the perfect position next we have to add some text here and with the text we will add one link also so let's come back to the html file and after this div which is the side nav here we will add another div with the class name text box in this text box we will add the text in p tag then we will add another text in h1 then we will add one div with the class name icon and in this div we will add the image img tag images slash arrow dot png that is the down arrow after adding this let's come back to the website you can see this text here and this down arrow next we have to change the position and font size for this text so let's come back here we have the class name text box just copy this one and come to the css file write it here for this text box we will add the margin from the top it will be 20 percent then font size font size will be 18 pixel here we have to change the color also so write color triple f now it is in the white color now just come back again write this class name text box and h1 for the title here we will add the font weight font weight will be 500 then we will change the font size so the font size is 86 pixel and max width it will be 550 pixel then we will add the line height line height it will be 95 pixel then we will add margin from the top and margin at the bottom now this text also looks good next we will design this down arrow so let's come back and here you can see we have the class name icon so come back here and here we will add text box dot icon 
write background then we will add the width and height width will be 70 pixel and height also same then border radius so it will be circular then display will be flex align item center and justify content center so that the icon will be in the center of this circular box then we have to set the size of the icon so write text box dot icon img so for this image we will add the width 15 pixel that's it after adding this come back to the website and you can see this down arrow also looks good so finally we have completed this beautiful header of the website so i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video